Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central, here with a video review of Transport Empire for Windows Phone and Windows 8 and RT. This is a city building game from Game Insight. The bulk of the game takes place on this map screen. You play as this female business owner and the members of her family as they try to basically expand their business and the reach of their Transport Empire, which includes mainly train tracks, and then also some shipping and boats and eventually airships. You take on these little jobs, like here is our shipping port, and I can choose jobs of different lengths, each which has different material costs, and then just send them out to do it. So this one's going to take 10 minutes. Send the boat out. There it goes. You can watch it take off. Some places and buildings just produce money automatically. Now the boat has run into a little event. It's going to cost me two coal to fix it. I can choose to say yes or no. I will go ahead and do it and see if we get anything. Nope. Okay, no thanks. I'm just going to move on, move it on. So I need more coal right now. I can accomplish that by taking on these coal-related jobs. And there are some of many different lengths. Here, this one takes a minute, so we'll do that. Then I'm going to go look for other places that can do coal. 20 minutes. And sometimes they'll tell you that your carriages are inefficient, and you can go to the settings and change what kind of carriage you attach to the locomotive. Usually I wouldn't bother with it, but I guess somehow it makes the mission more profitable. Let's see. Choose this fancy locomotive, and then just... Use the big open box car. Send. Now he's going off. And a big part of the appeal of this game is just watching the trains zoom around. You can eventually save up and buy more trains. You have to level up your cities to have multiple trains. And then you can just watch them zooming around as you try to collect resources. You can check how many resources you have up here. Well, that's to buy resources. Little drop down menu. There's a lot of different resources. And a lot of the game is just resource management. Like, you'll run low on coal very often. A lot of things cost coal. So then you'll have to work on keeping the coal coming in and different other resources. Let's go over here and set up another coal run. You can do it for a short time or a long time. We're just going to go with short. Then you have these missions over here on the side. I just completed one. And a lot of them are story-based. Now we have a little story sequence, and here's your main player character. All the females in the game are kind of needlessly sexy. But, you know, I personally don't mind that. It might be a little off-putting to female players. But this is definitely a game aimed at males for the most part. What was the train focus? These brother and sister are the two main characters, and they have to deal with basically business intrigue, you know, rival business owners. So you can put them out of business and stuff. It's a little bit dry, but still a decently interesting story. It gives you something. I've completed some missions. The stars give you experience. All right, I leveled up to level nine. And I get a bunch of resources, plus I unlock the ability to get an airship. That's good money. Looks like I've kind of worked ahead a lot. Another story sequence. Once you tap a mission, it will automatically point out where you need to go to do it, which is nice. You don't have to really scan around the map. So we go to this city, Coldport. Collect the money from our previous mission. Now I have to send a train. So we'll do that. Start. Going to take 30 minutes. That's fine. If you want to spend gold, which is the premium currency, then you can speed up jobs like that. But you do not have to. It's just that you're going to progress way slower if you don't. And that is how these games work in general. I oh, don't have a road built for that one yet. Eventually, you'll be able to reach farther along the map and just do a lot of cool new things. So in these, build, in these cities, you have multiple buildings, and each one does a different thing. Going to the shopping arcades. 
I can start a trade contract, takes an hour. If I have enough resources, I can upgrade it. A little low on wood here, but I'm just going to go ahead and spend gold to get it. Waste of gold, but... If you want to look at your list of vehicles, you can tap over here to do that. Here's the different trains I have. Some of them can be upgraded. Sometimes they break down and you have to repair them. And there are premium trains that you can only buy with gold that are better with re better than regular ones. The same applies to carriages and just whatever vehicles you have in the game. If you like city building games, Transport Empire has a lot to offer. It's not perfect. One of the main drawbacks to the game is that it has no cloud save support. There's no Facebook save support. Like if I click on my profile, then here I can't even link it to Facebook. It seems like the game was designed to be able to do that. Maybe Game Insight will add the feature via update, but the fact that some of their Windows Phone titles already do that, and that it's kind of a standard thing with free-to-play games to have an online account system, not really cool. You can go to settings down here and look at your player ID. You want to take a screen capture of that, and then if you ever change phones or whatever, then Game Insight support can recover your account on a new phone. But again, you shouldn't have to do that. If you want to link it to Facebook, you should be able to. Besides that, the game can be a little grindy because like I said, you're running out of coal all the time, and there may be other resources where you just have to stop and wait until you get more of that resource to make any progress. But again, this is the kind of game you're supposed to check in with throughout the day and just play for a few minutes at a time. And if you like the train theme... Yay, I got five wood for that. If you like the train theme, then it's, you know, it's a pretty game, decently interesting story, pretty good character artwork, and it's free. So why not give it a try? Thanks for watching, and read our full review at windowscentral.com.